Yo, what's up, people? Welcome to Men's Health Weekenders. Here is Coach Girls speaking to you straight from Brazil. And with me today, I have the one and only Mr. PMA Faisal. What's up? And the biggest, the guy that never stops. He keeps working out all day long, 24 7. Big spot breaks. Monster. <laughs> Mr. Bio Cancer. All right, guys, how are we today? We all get to talk to me a little bit. Ready? Oh, yes. Yes, yes, people. So today, oh, we, yes, talk to me, Monster. Um, I, just, I just want to say that I love you very much. Oh. Uh -huh. <laughs> you break my heart like this, brother. I'm going to cry a little bit. Yes, we are very far away, but don't you worry, I'll be back very soon and I'm going to bring the sun with me from Brazil. Trust me, I'm going to do that. Okay, Men's Health Weekenders, today we're going to smash two workouts. The first one is going to be more like a proper finisher. I want you to leave absolutely everything on the floor. And then after that, whatever you've got left, we're going to spend on the abs finisher. So we're going to work your whole body today. And I want you to say nothing, okay? I want you to literally empty the tank. Uh, the first workout is going to be uh, for eight minutes long, which we're going to pretty much work for eight minutes on the spot. And then uh, the second workout, the abs one, uh, it's pretty much for five minutes, five to six minutes. Uh, three movements, we're going to get loads of rest. I'm sure you're going to be fine with it, okay? Uh, Mr. Scott, if I ask you to warm us up, would you please do that. It would be my honor because I don't have as good warmers up. I'm gonna have to warm it up another way. But uh, start with a little bit of a warm up, but the warm is gonna be slightly different. We're gonna do some static work to get those muscles firing. Looking at the workout, Gus is gonna absolutely smash us through today. There's a couple of key areas I wanna what I want to look at. So we're gonna do some tempo push-ups to start, okay? We're gonna do just five, five reps. That's all we're gonna do, five reps, but tempo. And the great thing about tempo work is you can go as fast or as slow as you can, dependent on your skill. So also with a push-up, you can go on your knees or you can step back a little bit and do that full push-up. So the guys are already in that push-up, which is amazing. So what we want to see, if you can, is to count to three seconds on the way down and count to three seconds on the way up. And we're just gonna run through this twice. So we're gonna do, we're gonna basically gonna do 10 reps in total, but the first set is gonna be five. So guys, get yourself in that push-up position and we're gonna count down that tempo. If you go a little bit quicker, that's completely fine. If you can, we're gonna count you down for three seconds and count you back up for three seconds. So you ready in that push-up position, fellas? Yeah, let's do this. Let's get those chesticles moving. So we're gonna count you down, we're gonna go three, Two, one, okay, back up. Three, two, one, awesome, okay. So, Gus did that full all the way down and up. Faisal went flying back up. So we're gonna go into the second rep. So we're gonna do these for five reps and you have a rest, okay? So, back into that push-up position. So be in that push-up position. We're gonna count you down. So let's go four reps in total this time. So, we're gonna go three, two, one. As soon as you're down, we're gonna go three, two, one, awesome, straight back in. Three, two, one, straight back up. Three, two, one, okay, two more. Three, two, one, three, two, one. It's the last one, hold on now. Three, two, one, three, two, one. And rest those arms and those, give that little shake off of that chest. Again, do you guys feel that? Did you feel that working? I think yeah. I hit a PB. Just, I, I, I just think I hit PB right now. <laughs> so we're going to oh, do one I'm more sad. set of those five, okay? One more set of those five. It's going to get those arms moving, get that chest warmed up. Also gets your breath moving a little bit. And I can tell from Pfizer's face, he's absolutely loving my warm-ups. So we're going <laughs> to go into that push-up. <laughs> Oh, it's not absolutely savage. <laughs> it's like a, it's like a Zach George's uh, recovery day, you know what I mean? Like those insane. Oh, <laughs> like, I mean, I know there's these people, man. This is the reason I did warm up and don't do the workout. So be glad yeah. of one. So we're going to get back into that push up position. Let's go. So we're going to count you down. You've got 
go three, two, one. Let's ascend down and then three, two, one. Back up, red. Count that. There we go. Okay, second rep. Three, two, one. That's on the way down. Three, two, one. That's the way up. Okay, we've got three more to go. So three, two, one. Okay, we're going to push back up. Three, two, one. Okay, we've got one more. We're going to go for Okay, three, two, one. And three, two, one. You guys can do one more. You've got one more in you. Let's go. We're going to go. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Nice. Love it. So that's that. We've done that. You have literally, have literally just to use the energy and we'll save you for the actual workout. Yeah, <laughs> right yeah. He's making that's us do extra reps. What's going <laughs> on? <laughs> People need to see how good All you right. are. Right. Keep bringing it. Keep bringing it. <laughs> We're going to finish now. It's a very nice, easy warm up with another little static hold. And this one, we're going to get into a sit up position. So, we're going to get into a sit up position. Now, not a butterfly. So, we don't want to see those legs apart. We want to see your knees together in that classic military style sit up. Okay. And you're going to lie down on the floor. Nice and easy. We're going to lie down on the floor. And the aim of this one is to try and get to the top of that sit up. But you're going to go slow. So we're going to do just four reps on this one. So we're going to go up and I'm going to count you. So as I count three, two, one, when I get to one, that's when I want you sat at the top of that sit up. Okay, guys, you ready? So we're going to go with four reps of this. So we're going to go three, two, one. And you can just come back down at a normal speed. Just back down at a normal speed. Nice and easy. Okay, we're going to go with rep two. So let's go. Three, Two, one, nice. Okay, two more reps. Come back down, nice. Okay, you ready? We go three, two, one. Top of that sit up. One more rep. Back down, and then we're gonna go three, two, one, and then have a little rest. We're gonna have a little rest for a few seconds. Hopefully, that's warming up that little mid bit. You only got one more to do, and then the warm up is done. And I know you guys both got the abs to do it. I've seen them. I've seen them everywhere. <laughs> okay. Right. We're going to go with the last set. This is the last of the warm-up and activating. I like to think of it as activation as opposed to a warm-up. We're going to do four reps of that tempo-controlled sit-up. Okay. So we're going to get in that sit-up position. We'll wait for Gus to get down on the ground. Put those knees together. Classic sit-up position. And we're going to count you to do that sit up going up. Okay, so let's see. We're going to go three, two, one. And as you get one at the top of that sit up, perfect. Back down at a normal speed. We're going to go again. So we're going to go three, two, one. At the top, perfect. Back down. We've got two more to go. So we're going to go three, two, one. Nice. We've got one more, and then you are done. So back down. We're going to count this tempo. Let's really make this slow. Three, two, one. Nice. And then we're done. So hopefully you're feeling a little bit warm now. Hopefully you've got a little bit of waking up in that stomach, waking up in that chest and arms. And it's my great pleasure to send you straight back to Gus because he's going to make me pay for that warm-up. I'm sure he is. Oh, no, I definitely want that. Wait for it. All right, all right, men's health people. Cool, so let's smash it. Today, we have got that first workout I, I mentioned before, which is a eight minutes long, and it's gonna be a MRAP style, okay? MRAP stands for as many rounds and reps as possible. So here, you can rest whenever you feel like you need, but if you can, I want you to face it so, so you can move throughout the whole time, okay? So we've got two movements for this workout. The first one, and I'm gonna invite my monster, the biggest uh, fighter to demonstrate for us. Uh, the first one is going to be a devil, not the devil press, this one's slightly different. A dundle, devil, clean and jerk. So you're gonna go down into a bird even with that dundle, extend, bring uh, the dundle to your shoulders, and then you're gonna press it overhead. So one more time, more speed, down the floor into a bird thing. You're gonna come back up and like a kettlebell swing, you're gonna bring it up to your shoulder, and then push it overhead with your legs. You can also do a strict press if you want. If you have uh, one dumbbell only, you can do one quick uh, rep with one only, please. 
Boom, stop. So one, up, boom, and then you can just switch, uh, switch hands on the way down. It's gonna be eight reps, okay? So eight minutes workout, eight reps, pretty simple. Once you finish uh, eight reps with the devil uh, clean and jerk, you're gonna bring either one or two dumbbells, however you have, however, however and if, even if you have a backpack, guys, I wanna mention that as well. If you don't have dumbbells at home, grab a backpack, fill it up with loads of heavy stuff, and then use that to work out. So wrap whatever you have, put it up on that front rack position, and you're gonna go down into curve, say you lunge, so you're gonna step back and across and touch your knee on the floor. So if you guys pay attention to a Faisal's knee, it goes down close to the outside of his heels, okay? And that's the idea. We really work not just on the hands, but a lot on your uh, glutes too. Okay, so eight and eight rep for both movements, and I want you to do it as many times as you can. However, here is the little spicy bit. Every two minutes, it doesn't matter where you are in that workout, I want you to stop. I'm gonna shout like two minutes to stop, and then I want you to go for 15 is squat jump. So you're gonna squat all the way down and jump. Boom, boom, 15 rep, one five. Okay, this one here, it doesn't really count to your score, it's just to get you tired, make it harder for you to add that top score in the main workout, uh, which is the two movements we just spoke about. Okay, you guys got that one? You good with that, Pfizer Scott? Not excited. The start yeah. line. If they, want, stuff. if they wanted to do a double press, do they just go straight into double press? If they yeah, so. So here is uh, some rules. One, we are going to start with the squat jumps. So we go on zero, two, four, and six, four times with the squat jumps, okay? And wherever you stop, so let's say you want the fifth devil press and you had to stop, that's okay, you stop, you do your squat jumps, and then as soon as you finish, and you wanna finish as fast as possible, because you wanna carry on with the workout, you're gonna come back, Finish that one level uh, clean and jerk, and then move on to the to the courtesy lunges. All right, you guys got that? Let's do it. Perfect. And just set the time. And we, you go, you guys ready? We're gonna go in five seconds. Eight, one, four, three, two, one, and go. Squat jumps. Let's go. Fifteen reps. All the way, guys, come on. Don't need to jump too high. I just want to just literally lose contact with the floor. But just keep moving. Really good, really good. Let's go. Nice. Straight into that devil clean and jerk. Eight reps. I have one double only. So we're going to go for alternating. Really good. Make sure you touch your chest down the floor. Swing the dumbbell or the dumbbells up to your shoulders and use your legs to push those dumbbells up. Dumbbells up. Yeah. Really good. People, let's go. One last time. Really good. We have one minute. Go on, one minute to go before we have to stop again. Oh yeah, I can feel it. Come on, let's go, let's go, let's go, people. Come on, guys. Straight into it. Yes, spot, yes, Faisal. I want you now to try and get the same number of reps in that interval. It's all about consistency. I don't want you to sprint now because the workout is pretty long. Woo, 15 seconds to go. Come on, let's do it. Let's move on the canvas. Woo, 10 seconds. In five, four, three, two, one. You stop right where you are. And let's go for 15 squat jumps. Come on, let's go. Come on, jump. Bouncing like popcorn, let's go. Woo. Oh, pretty good, let's go, let's go.
that's your background from where you start. Yeah. Well, no time for water, no time to rest. Just keep moving as you slow as you need to, but just keep moving. You can always step down, you need to know those worries. You don't need to just jump down full speed, just take it easy, but just keep moving. Nice and easy, just like I'm doing now. Really good. Woo Come on, boys. Beautiful, beautiful. One minute to go. Go on. And it's going to be halfway. All right, let's do it. Go, go, go. Woo. Nice. Really good, really good technique, boys. I love it. Guys, are you going for a full double press? I'm gonna to have to no wrap you more, so remember it's a clean and jerk. <laughs> yes! Yeah, no, that was a no wrap! Before, now we're counting good, bro. Let's go. Really good. I know everyone is kind of very like, used to that presses. That's why I wanted to change today, just to stimulate your body in a different way, to make your brain work in a different way. Come on! We've got 10 seconds, you squeeze in as many reps as you can. Come on, Faisal. Quicker, let's finish those 30 lunges. Come on, go, go, go. In five, four, three, two, one. Come on, squat jumps now with me. Let's go. All the way, all the way, let's go. Come on, let it burn. It's gonna burn, it's normal. That's the idea. I want it to burn, but I want it to work through it. Come on, let's do it. Nice. Come on, we, we spend 20 seconds on those squat jumps. It means we have one minute, 20 seconds to smash the rest of the workouts. And now we are counting down. We are really at home. Woo, just one pass halfway. Let's go. Yes, really good on those. Curtsy lunges, be careful not to hit your knees too hard on the floor. I don't want you to hurt your knee. Nice, one minute to go. Come on, keep moving. Use your legs to push that dumbbell overhead. It's all about efficiency. Come on, let's do it. 30 seconds to go, people. Let's go. Yes, team, 20 seconds. Give us the pace. 
Come on. Squash, squash, squash. Uh, 30 seconds. Oh, you rocks. On the floor right now. Let's go. Uh, uh, 20 seconds. Yes, people, let's go. Couple limbs out, 15 seconds. You got these. In 10. In 5. In 4. 3. 2. 1. Time. Woo -hoo. Oh, man. That was sweaty. And that was because I was, no, I was fucking about talking to the camera. And I was resting a lot, baby, I tell you. <laughs> there was no stopping that. So really, really good, guys. So this is a type of workout where we want to get into that threshold, that eighty percent, and just stick to it. If you feel like your body's getting over that line, slow it down a little bit. It's about the long run. It's about knowing about yourself, knowing about your body. When to push, when to slow down. There's no time to move, no time to talk. It's just you. Pay attention to your body, how the machine is functioning. Woo! Bro, it was beautiful. Okay, so now let's talk about the workout, uh, the second workout, the abs finisher. Okay, so over here we're gonna have three uh, three movements. Yeah, so the first one is going to be uh, five. Can you demonstrate that again, please? Just so we get that done already. First one is going to be V ups. We have got a few variations of V ups. You can either do the, 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 the most advanced one, legs and uh, arms going up together. You can just alternate your legs, that'll be slightly easy to give you one leg a rest. Or you can just bend your knees and go for like a tuck up. We're still working the exact same muscle group, the exact same way, just making it lighter because it's shorter. Yeah? And then the last one, and the easiest one, is the sit up, where you're gonna get your legs into that butterfly position and you're gonna use your arms like you're gonna throw a ball. And that, that momentum is going to help you on the way up until your shoulders cross your hips. Uh, that's the first one, 20 seconds. As soon as you finish, you're going to finish in that sitting position, Marzo, and I want you to go straight into a body weight, yeah, not with extra weight, Russian twist. So if you can, the most advanced one is exactly how Marzo is demonstrating now with your feet off the floor, and you're going to rotate. But then here, if you rotate, not the arms, you rotate the trunk. Imagine like your chest has to look at both sides. So your chest and trunk is going to rotate. If that one is too hard, just bring your leg down. Do it with your leg down, okay? You can do it with weight, without weight. I would just try maybe do it without weight and just going to stop. And then the second, uh, the last one, sorry, the third one, you're going to go straight into a plank position and it's going to be kind of like mountain fiber. It's a, it's a plank position and you're going to bring your knee to your elbow by twisting. So we're going to still work in that kind of like twisting, working on the, on the side, on the V. Beautiful stuff, Mr. Really good. So here's the trick. We're going to do 20, 20, 20. 20 seconds of each back to back. There's no rest. It's one minute of non-stop movement. Although we're going to change the angle, we're going to be doing different stuff. So you should be able to keep it up. Okay, even if you have to stay down. As soon as we finish that one minute working of three different 20 second intervals, we're gonna have 30 seconds rest. So 30 seconds doing absolutely nothing, okay? And then we're gonna repeat it four times, all right? So it's gonna take us to about six minutes work. We good to go, monsters? Ready? Perfect. Let's go. All right. Faisal, <coughs> I will see now you have been doing your homework, yeah? <laughs> yeah, let's go. All right, so let's go in. Five, four, three, two, one, and go. Oh, 20 seconds, Bills. As far as you can with the harder version that you pick. And then just bring it low and low as you need to. Five seconds to go. Two, one, you're gonna sit up and go for Russian twist. Come on. 10 seconds on, 10 seconds to go, people. Big rotations. 
We're going to switch in three, two, one, into a plank, and then you just go for that mount find the twist. Ten seconds. In five, three, two, one. Woo! That was round one. Woo! And I uh, let it bounce it. Really good. Ten seconds gone. Twenty seconds to go. Get ready. We're gonna go again. This is gonna set halfway, people. After this round, we're gonna be counting down. We're gonna be bringing it on. Come on, show up, come on, fight, so we go in. Three, two, one, let's go, we can this. Keep moving. All the way. Halfway, let's go, my loop. In three, two, one. Come on, rush and twist, that's my neck. <laughs> Pretty much the same age. He is literally, you can't wait to come in here and say hi. <laughs> come on, half wait, 10 more seconds. In three, two, one. Flat position, straight away, straight in. Come on. Work hard, pays off. Do not stop. Give it all every time. You gotta earn that rest. In five, three, two, one. Rest there. Have a sip of water if you need to. I'm doing really exactly that right now. Woo! Woo! Uh, it's just spicy. It is spicy. If it's not burning, it doesn't count. Much. That's how. That's how they say. You gotta make the most of that time that you sacrifice to come to the gym. Let's go, people! Five seconds, and we're going to go for our third round. In three, two, one, and go. Uh, come on. Get in there. Five seconds. Uh, two, one. Rush and twist. Lean back until you feel that. Tension on your abs, and that's when you start rotating. Rotating from the side to side. Uh, come on. Big three, two, one. Plug position. Multiply the twist. Come on, 10 seconds before you know it's gone. <laughs> In five, three, two, one. Whoa. All right, people. Last one. Whoa. Best one. <laughs> ah. oh, yeah. Bring your nephew in. Bring your nephew in. Well, he's, he just cannot wait. As soon as we finish, I'm going to bring him in to say hello. <laughs> Come on, we've got 10 seconds. He's shouting and doing like this. <laughs> ah. Come on, in five seconds. In two, in one, that's the last one, people, let's go. Make the most of it, you can do this, do not stop. Three, two, one, Russian twists. Big rotations, let's go. Come on, keep moving, keep moving. Come on, in three, two, one. One position, mountain climb a twist. Come on, 10 seconds to go. In three, two, one, and time. Whoa! Men's health. 
That was a beautiful song. Thank you very much. Well, boys, you like that? Gus, I don't know where you come from, where you get those abs over. It's a Brazilian thing, but my God, they are awake and moving. So good. It's the dehydration. I'm sweating about like five liters every 10 minutes. Woo. Beautiful stuff, guys. I think that was a great work. We managed to work the whole body. Now it's time for some cool down, right, Faisal? You know, bro. Okay, cool. Everyone, let's get down. I want you to lie flat on your stomach. Hands underneath your uh, shoulders. I'm doing that up dog stretch or cobra. So keeping your hips on the floor. You're going to extend those arms, open up your chest, and really try to feel your abdominal sheet just stretching. Hold it for three, two. Relax your chest back down to the floor. Take a deep breath in, and as you exhale, we're going to extend back into the up dog, locking out those arms for the second time, opening up that chest, hold it for three, two, and one. Keeping your hands where they are, you're just going to bring your bum now back onto your heels, into that child pose position. So really get those arms as long as you can, your bum back on to your heels and that lovely stretch through your back, your big lat muscles on the side of your body. Hold it for three, two, and one. From there, we're then just going to go into a down dog. So you go up to a plank position, and then you're just going to pike your bum up, head through your shoulders, try to press your heels onto the floor if you have that flexibility. Really stretch all that posterior chain. Hold that position for four, three, two, and one. Coming back into a plank position, I want you to step your right foot outside your right hand, and then place your left knee on the floor so you can relax that left knee. And then all we're gonna do is just reach up with that right arm it's as high as we can, opening up that chest, opening up our hip flexor, getting into that hamstring, and with your hand that's placed on the floor, really try to push your hand into the floor. You dynamic with that left hand, push it into the floor, hold it for three, two, and one. Slowly going to switch it over now, so your left foot steps outside your left hand, relax your right knee to the floor, and then once you're comfortable, open up with that left arm, Really push your right hand into the ground. Feel that beautiful stretch. Hold it for four, three, two, and one. We're then going to come into a squat position. And we're just going to hold that nice deep squat however you wish, using your arms and elbows to push those knees as far apart as you can. <clears throat> and just get really comfortable in that bottom position of your squat. That's good, guys. Nice. Gonna hold that for three, two, and one. Slowly gonna rise up, stand nice and tall. We're gonna take it into that big quad stretch, that classic quad stretch. We're gonna grab your right ankle, try and have both knees together. Find your balance, and then once you have it, I want you to push your hips forward to progress the stretch down that big quad muscle. And hold it for three, two, one. Shake the leg out and slowly switch it over. So it's vital that you find your balance first and then push your hips forward. Keeping those knees together, hold it for three, two, and one. Good, shake that leg out. Again, we're gonna bring our right arm across your body. You're gonna squeeze that right arm in and then look over your right shoulder and it's gonna get right into that big deltoid. Holding it for three, two, one, slowly switch it over, squeeze your left arm in. Look over that left shoulder for me. Nice, guys. Hold it for three, two, and one. Reach up, interlink your fingers. Hey! Interlink your fingers, take a deep breath in, and I'm going to lean over to one side. And back to the center, breathe in. Lean over to the other side. 
Uh, back to the centre, loosely. All we're going to do is swing down, brush the floor, back up high. And again, one last time, guys. Swing down, keep your hands up there. Make your body 10 feet tall. Clench your fists and pull down your positive mental attitude. Men's Health Weekenders, thank you so much. Oh, uh, yes. bravo. Yes, Stop yes, yes people. This is our big Antonio, and then come on, I have a, <laughs> come on over here, Otadio. Let me show your guns to people. People want to see your guns. Show them. Show the guns. Okay, okay. Awesome. Men's Health Weekenders, thank you so much for joining us today. I absolutely loved it. And uh, boys, I hope you enjoyed it too. And uh, yeah, it was a lovely to see you both again. I really, really miss you guys. That was amazing. Well, Scott, Gustavo, I love you. Thank you so much, Men's Health. Hope you enjoyed it. Well done, guys. Thank you guys. Stay safe.